corner's been given here for Chelsea. So they might be able to fashion something from it. Cuthbert to send it in. Oh, it was in there. Cleared away by Illicit. Cuthbert once more. Diani belatedly offering the pressure on her. And Bright oh. at the far post beats Buari. And Chelsea have the lead through their centre half. PSG didn't deal with the corner as it came back in. They weren't too happy with the award of it. Bias as a centre back, but the fact that she's defending so solid in the back and really leading from the back, and then also can get in here. And she swatches the ball, watches it all the way in, makes that perfect curling run to the back post, and just that technique, that volley, to bring it back more centrally, get it over the goalkeeper as well. That was fantastic. Drop of the shoulder from Wrighton. Harder might turn, Curry's there! And Chelsea take the leads. Quick passing to Sam Kerr, who doesn't miss from there. Well, it was just rolled into a path, Sam Kerr, and the Vlasnia defence, as much as they'll be aware of the threat that she poses, she just finds herself in those positions hard. Ball finds its way to right, and Kerr is there! And she gets her second, and Chelsea second. Well, just inches out, Sam Kerr. A lovely ball in from Guru Wrighton. Well, Popovic just could not keep up with Wrighton, who is so good at providing those kind of balls. Perisay able to keep the ball in play. This could be an opportunity. Charles is the player is there. Harder. And that's the third for Chelsea. Another cross in from the left-hand side. Panilla harder this time. Well, she almost just had to halt her run there slightly. It was right and again with the ball in. And uh, it looked as if Panilla Harder almost didn't have to do anything. She just sort of stopped. And uh, looks like Perisse is going to leave it for Wrighton so a different corner taker this time for the team with a 3-0 lead comes in head to there and it goes in and from a corner Chelsea have extended their leads the Australian a different corner taker this time Wrighton was there and Kerr and I think Charles were both looking at each other, just wondering might, who might have got the touch. Ericsson. Ball with Harder. Harder now skipping forward. Wrighton's there. Wrighton pulls it back. Carr! That's definitely hers. The backflip that tells you that Sam Kerr has got a hat trick. Lovely ball back from Wrighton. Kerr there to just sweep it in. I'm surprised she doesn't do herself an injury with those backflips. But it's what we used to see. Well, we've seen them score from a right and delivery already in this second half comes in headed by England oh it can't be pushed away by Williams 
and Hana is there at close range to make sure it goes in. Right in corner, found the head of England initially, and Williams was hoping to scoop it away, but Harder was right there. Oh, another chance, and there's the header to make it 7-0. And off the substitute bench, Svitkova in goal for Vlasnia. Cross to the head of Svitkova, a powerful header in to make it Chelsea 7, Vlasnia 0. He's taken away to halfway in the end. Ingles waiting there though. Makes it back up the pitch to Perisay. Little chipped ball from her. Punched out. This could be a chance to play it back in again. Oh, and it rolls all the way in. And that's an eighth for Chelsea. Hit Chelsea eight. Vlasnia nil. Well, it was initially stopped the uh, Svitkova shots by the now a second opportunity for her to take this corner Millie Fergus ahead of it oh and it goes in and Ingle got the last touch and Chelsea take the lead composed good touch by Millie Bright and really good awareness from Sophie Ingle just to step in front of the Real Madrid captain there and head it in a little freeze there looks like you know looking it could be close to offside but I don't think it was good reactions how dominant Chelsea have been at home. Yeah, it's become a, a, a massive fortress here at Kings Meadow. Ball in from the right hand side. Oh, and it goes all the way in. Well, what a wonderful goal that is to give Chelsea their second of the game. Aaron Cuthbert with a ball in from the right hand side. You know, sort of sliced it across. Good touch off the net, yeah, that's a cross, 100%. But, you know, if you're going to miss hit across, that's the way to miss hit it. And it's, it's arrowed into the top corner and catches the keeper off guard. Guru Wrighton has been playing some of the best football of her career. To level things up. Oh, and it isn't! Goodness me! Well, it doesn't matter how they go in, as long as they do, Misa absolutely despairing this might go down as an own goal you know off the post and coming back off the post off to the back of the head is that and over the line the ball by Chankovic right and looks to pull it back and Ingle was there and there's the opener Scored by the player who is the captain for the night, Sophie Ingle. Placed that with precision. And the captain took up a great position. And in truth, there was nobody anywhere nearer, really was there, from a defensive point of view. Deflection maybe helped out Chelsea there. Took it into the path of Ingle, but... Plenty in the box here for Chelsea, a deep delivery over towards Ingle. Foul by Esmeralda Franja. Chelsea have taken it quickly here and have a second or do they? Yeah, well the Vlasnia the players unhappy that the referee allowed for that to be taken quickly. Great movement there from Frank Kirby. Caught them napping at the back. Cleared by Franja. And he just gives possession straight back to Chelsea, though. It's a fantastic cross, and it results in the third goal. Svitkova with it. Well, they've been knocking on the door the entire second half, Emma Hayes' side. 
took up a good position, and that time the goalkeeper just couldn't quite get out quickly enough. Maybe he wasn't helped out too much by the defenders. But the ball in by Cankovic was exquisite, wasn't it? Right on the money. 3-0 Chelsea. So Maron Mielder to make it four here for Chelsea. Which she does with ease. A well-taken penalty, and it smiles all round for the WSL champions. Uh, heading through to the quarter-finals. There's no doubt about that before this was taken. But that gives a comprehensive look to the scoreline, doesn't it? 4-0 Chelsea. Chelsea certainly started to get a grip of what PSG were, were threatening in the opening 50 minutes or so, because as you said, Courtney, they've not really done much in the last 15 minutes, and Chelsea have been the more likely team to score. Sam Kerr makes her way through, looks to dance and get the shot away. That's oh, a brilliant goal from Sam Kerr. That is just what she does. And Sam Kerr puts Chelsea in the lead before half-time trying to to face forward to get on the ball Chelsea do well to to win the ball initially and she's just on a front foot she's anticipating the loose ball cuts inside and from there on a weaker foot but you wouldn't know past Buardi right in that top right hand corner it's an absolutely wonderful finish This is uh, our group A is looking. Opportunity again for Chelsea, and it's Lauren James who takes a full advantage. Chelsea double their lead, and surely that is the top spot in Group A sealed. The goal kick before it's got pounced upon by Wright and didn't quite come off, but then Chelsea high pressing, they play it round at the back. Sam Kerr does really well here with this ball first time there's still a lot to do for lauren james by the way she's the one that initially is there gets the touch frank kirby plays it early the first time ball from sam kerr and it's a wonderful finish and this turn from sam kerr ericsson on to right and great ball in finds kirby cuts it back to lauren james for a second and chelsea have their third Great movement from Chelsea, topped off by Lauren James. I love watching this, it's the little drop in that Sam Kerr's been doing all game, wonderful turn. First time ball inside, this ball from Wrighton is exceptional and then the presence of mind from Frank Kirby, how many players would take that on themselves but she knows that Lauren James is there, it's a wonderful little lay back and then another fantastic finish from Lauren.